Market Monday post blitz. Trevor Lawrence is your offensive player of the week. If I'm going to be honest, not the best card. He gets fearless for 3 AP and pass lead elite for 3 AP. Here are your blurred out images. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I don't know how anybody could ever decipher remotely what these cards are. They seem to over blur them. Now, here are also your final two AKA cards that are dropping this Wednesday. I think the right player is an eagle. Give me Tom Brady for the left player. Those are my predictions. But here is the big bomb show we got from the content schedule this morning. I may be thinking team builders. We always knew we had a gap in the schedule before zero show one week. And we're getting all Madden three this Thursday. Overall, the all Madden content I think has been amazing this year, right? High end guys, legends, current players, great discount abilities. I, I just love the promo this entire year. And Getting it this Thursday, I am super, super excited. But taking a closer look and a longer look, I would say, at the content schedule. I've actually mapped things out all the way till the end of December, even, you know, Christmas, Ghost of Madden, potentially when that content is dropping. Uh, the final AKA release is going to be this Wednesday. You can expect the reveals to be Tuesday afternoon. Team of the Weeks also, remember, they do stop for some reason, right, when the EA employees take their break for the entire month of December, essentially. Um, team of the Week content is too much for them. So the last Team of the Week content will be probably next Tuesday, and then we'll have a break, and we'll get it back early January. Now, one thing you will notice, no Season 3 on the 8th anymore. If you were in the streams this weekend, I'm not going to talk about it too much, because, of course, EA will uh, be announcing this in the next week or so. Now, Season 2 is still ending in nine days. It actually ends on the 8th of December. It's why I have zero chill starting on the 8th of december because i am fairly confident uh, that's when zero chill is going to start because well season three doesn't look to be dropping when season two ends more of a zero chill season mini season and i can't really see us having no xp and no fuel pass for the weekend right if there was no zero chill on thursday or on thursday the 8th of december and there was kind of like a half a week where there was just no field pass that wouldn't really work out so i'm fairly confident that zero chill is going to be starting next thursday with the information given to me i've kind of put two and two together so that's something to look forward to zero chill next thursday but back to the all madden content because that is the big uh, bombshell like i said that dropping that dropped this monday that's dropping this thursday we're going to talk a little bit about how the content i think is going to work how the market is going to react the training market and all that so uh, you can expect these cards to be 94 overall if someone said they're 93s or 95s that's just not going to be the case we just got 94 overalls for blitz we're just starting that little three to four week cycle of the 94 overalls being the champions the highest cards so 94 all madden so you can expect the baby versions of these cards to be 89 overall and i think 83 overall if they do the baby version baby baby versions of each of these cards now set wise i don't think ea strays too far from the path of all madden part two i think you just see especially with the baby versions being 89 overalls and we already have 89 overall cards in the game you probably just see the quantity of the sets up a little bit so for example instead of it being 789s for 93 probably going to be 10 uh, 88 overalls instead of it being 12 88 overalls for 93 probably gonna be like 17 or 18. market wise though um what's really going to be the effect of this because um and we'll get into what training is going to happen but i do think the 88 overalls because if you map out right if you math it out right let's say um 10 89 overalls for a 94 all madden card right 89 overall cards 89 all maddens um sorry are still only going for 45k and you can snipe these guys for 40k still they do have a reroll and i think the reroll essentially is going to say the same they're just going to add the new cards into it but they're not going to remove the old 88s and 89s uh, all madden cards so if we're if we're speaking like how much these 94s are going to cost if they stick to what i think they're going to do it's a very realistic outcome right them making just the sets more 88s and more 89 requirements the 94 overalls as of right now don't look to be that expensive. And if you take a look at the 94 overall that isn't Joe Thomas, right? The cheapest 94 is Darren Woodson at like 900K. So I do think there is room to grow, especially in the all Madden market, right? 88 overall is going for like 25K right now. Again, if you it, let's just say 20 of those, that's still less than 500K, I'm pretty sure, for a 94 all Madden. So I think the 88 market, the 89 market does go up a little bit. Now we'll get into what I think training is going to happen. I know it's tied in with the reroll, but I don't think training rises as much as people think. One thing to note, the 93 overalls, while they probably will 
drop a tad bit right when the content drops because people are going to be spamming the rerolls so the 93s will get flooded onto the market for the first hour or two hours. I do think the high meta 93 guys are going to just slightly rise in price just because the set requirements are going to be more expensive, right? If the 88s rise in price, the 89, 89s rise in price for the 94s, well, they're also rising for the 93s. So if you do uh, want still 93 all Maddens, I still recommend just doing their sets right now. You can snipe the 88 overalls for 21, 22K do the sets for legitimately like 260,000 coins. Uh, I would make sure you get your 93s uh, just safely and preferably before Thursday morning. But now hopping in more towards the training market and what I think the training market is going to do, because that's the big discussion right now is, you know, everyone and their mother invested in training at 4.5 to 5 per um, over the weekend. So there's a lot of investors like more than normal that have training. And the original plan is to save for zero chill. And I'm actually going to put this out right now. I am still going to be saving all the training I have bought until zero chill. I think there is a bigger demand, whereas all Madden Part 3 this Thursday, I just can't see training going from 4.55 per up to like 7 or 8 that some people are um, saying it's going to like saying that's going to happen. I think training more realistically rises from like 4.5 to like 5.5, five, maybe 6. Got to understand, there's a lot of supply right now on the market of just cards in general from Blitz and there's going to be a massive supply of training people, like training investors, investors this Thursday that are trying to sell their cards. And I, I just don't think the demand is going to outweigh the massive supply that we've all really acclaimed this past weekend. So if you're thinking now, let, let's be honest, I, I hope training goes to six or seven per this Thursday. That would be amazing. I still am going to be holding until zero chill, but I just don't think training. Now, I think now I know it kind of. I'm, I'm kind of like countering my argument like i'm saying 88 and 89 all madden scope and price but training doesn't really rise that much training doesn't have to rise that much like to kind of tie in with the 88s i think the 88 all maddens which are going for 24 25k right now they go up to like 30 32 and 89s go from like 40k to like 50 52 just because the 94 all madden guys i can't see going for like 400 450 93 all madden guys just a few weeks ago we're going for 650 and 700k the first few days they were out so you know are the 94 all Madden guys going to be super affordable? Maybe, maybe. But training wise, I still think and my plan is concrete. I've talked to people, right? I've talked to Kay. I've talked to Adam. I've talked to my market friends. Our vibe and our motive and our goal for training, it's still to hold until zero chill. It's a good thing too this Thursday because training will be taken off the market because there will still be a little bit of a baby demand for all Madden part three. But um, as of right now, unless training like goes to 10 randomly, there's a loophole and training goes to 9 or 10, then we'll sell. But as of right now, um, I look to be holding my training um, an extra week going into zero chill. But I do think training rises just a little baby bump. You can still buy training right now at four to five, uh, you know, per. It's definitely a little bit harder because the mass supply from blitz packs have kind of stopped. They've halted. Um, but you can still can buy training if you are going to buy training, right? If you want training for all men. Part three, uh, four zero chill. You do kind of got to buy right now because training is going to rise slightly for Thursday. So don't expect to like be able to buy training next Wednesday, the day before zero chill for 4.5 per. You're not going to be able to do that. Training is going to be at 5, 5.5 just because the all man is going to rise it just a tad bit. Moving now into the blitz market. This is probably where other than training, you have the most assets, the most coins sunk into. I have a ton of blitz cards and I will say I'm a little bit sad. Um, I just didn't think the ticket offer would have that much of an impact on these cards. But luckily for me, and this was just like sheer timing, at the time I was recording this, like at around, I think it was like 3 p.m. West Coast time, uh, the 90 overall, 91 overall Blitz market actually started to rise. Like just kind of weirdly enough, Max Crosby was like down to 75K. Uh, Eric Stokes with 55k, Badgley and Lindstrom were like down to 60. Like those guys were 90k the other day. They were down to 60, and as of right now, they're like back up at 75, 80k, which that's starting to be good. Um, of course, the supply of these guys is going to come to a complete stop tonight. Now, the ticket offers are still in the store until tomorrow morning. However, there's no Blitz Bucks offers after midnight tonight, East Coast time, 9 p.m. West Coast time. So there's no real way to get any more tickets. Um, and of course, the Batch Four players are going away. So. You should see, right? The the big thing about this and why I've kind of gone all out. By the way, I love Kyle Hamilton. Uh, he's like the one you can still kind of buy. I love Kyle Hamilton, like under 160, 165. Um, Randy Gregory, like under 180. OJ Howard, under 190. Eric Stokes, he's kind of come up in price. He was easily buyable at 60K. He's like 70K right now. So maybe stay away from him at the current moment. 
um but the blitz guys and why i kind of went all out over the past 48 hours was we saw what happens when the cards get removed from the store completely max crosby was up to 108k before the ticket offers came in lindstrom up to 95,000 coins before the ticket offers came in even michael badgley was up to 90k like when the ticket offers kind of came into play so it gave me a glimpse and even last year right like i just trust history and i trust history from a few days ago these guys were going up in price and even like Brees hall mick fitzpatrick i've been able to sell for 250k uh, periodically throughout the day uh, i just trust these cards and there isn't really an exact sell time for any of these it's just kind of like you know the 9091 guys whenever i hit 7 8k profit for tax i'm going to sell those guys the 92 93s once i hit 10 15k profit for tax i'm going to sell those I will say I don't really want to hold them until zero chill, although the market as a whole trading should go up for zero chill. I think the demand for these players is going to die off when zero chill does kind of, you know, start. So I don't want to hold these guys until zero chill. I kind of have a two week window to sell these cards off and hopefully we see a baby spike right as the supply is cut off for these cards. Last little thing I want to talk about for this Market Monday, and this is a weird Market Monday, of course, because we have no AKAs on Monday. AKAs are now, well, it's the final AKA drop this Wednesday. Uh, we still have Team of the Week on Tuesday, but, you know, normally Monday, there's a little bit more to talk about, like, what to do right now. Of course, it's just, like, buying training, buying Blitz, guys. We kind of went over that already. Uh, yeah, we still are going to be investing in Team of the Weeks. They are going to be 94 overall Team of the Week cards uh, this week. Again, uh, 91 overall set, guys. Hopefully, the set guys are, like, 80 to 85K. It'll be a very, very good buy, although... I don't have the most coins to be honest to buy team of the week guys but i'm going to put as much as i can and then aka guys are going to be 94 as well on wednesday with the new pack being a 90 plus and 90 overall AK guys are already down to 65 to 70k i expect these guys to be around 50,000 coins come wednesday and it's going to be a great buy because we're going to be buying them for around five per on wednesday we turn around on thursday morning there'll be an instant rise in demand for training with the all madden part three but quickly wanted to just go over that right we're still buying team of the weeks we're still buying aka's this week if you made it to the end of this video i kind of forgot to announce this uh the uh coin bible my sub only section discord is going to be free uh to everyone open to everyone starting on december 1st first first and uh running throughout the duration of december so feel free to join the discord again it's free to join and december 1st through december what 31st uh it will be open to everyone but then of course it will go back to being a patreon and twitch sub only benefit but that's all for market monday i hope you guys enjoyed it i will have well i will be on once up ahead tomorrow as well as i'll have a video out wednesday afternoon talking over the new all madden cards but comment if you have any questions like if you have enjoyed subscribe if you are new and until next time peace